concentrating for a minute. How are you all doing on this very, very fine Sunday morning? And uh, how beautiful does the valley look today? I can see smoke coming from Nick's place as well over the other side there in the woods. We'll give Nick a shout out, shall we? There you go, Nick. Big shout out for you, Nick. That makes a change, doesn't it? What do we do, Nick? Be productive. <laughs> Between his Yorkshire accent and my Welsh one, surprised anybody can understand the word we're saying. So, as you can see, cracking on. Um, somebody asked me what colour was the yellow that I was using on the uh, wheels. I was going to spray the undercarriage with. Um, two seconds, I forgot all about that. Let me get this. Okay, believe it or not, it's called Little Green Caris, and it's from a place called Chirk Auto Paints. So if you did phone up to order some, it's a, a synthetic enamel. So you, you can paint it on as well. You can thin it out and paint it on as well if, if you haven't got spraying facilities. And uh, if you phoned them up and asked them for that, they would know what they, you were talking about. Uh, they mixed it specially for me, to tell you the truth. I think I'm the only one of their customers who uses it. So what I'm doing at the moment is fine-tuning the uh, finish on here. And I'm using some of this uh, exterior ready-mixed um, filler. And it's almost like... it's. It's, it's a DIY one, it's not a specialist thing, uh, but it's so fine, the grain on it, you can get it into every little divot. And because I've put this first coat of primer on these axles, the great thing about that is it shows up all the imperfections. And uh, the bad thing about it is it shows up all the imperfections. <laughs> so, uh, I know people are going to be going out there, well, get it flat straight off, Chris. And that would be nice. That would be really nice. But we're dealing with uh, an organic substance of wood. And uh, you don't necessarily see it or feel it when you're sanding it, you know. It's not until you put a bit of uh, colour on there that you start to see... A difference but there we go I'm gonna carry on doing this I hope everybody's uh, taking it easy but getting a little bit done today I know it's Sunday but you can't have all the day off that's for sure oh we went to the sales yesterday that was good we enjoyed that didn't we that was lovely wasn't it and uh, what was the best part about it? Egg, chips, beans, bread and butter and a mug of tea. <laughs> and she's in the uh, cafe there. We treated ourselves to, a, to a, a, a brunch. I never knew what brunch was until very recently, in the last few years, really. And I, 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 never, I always thought it was something posh people had. It turns out it's for people who are too lazy to get up and they have sort of breakfast and dinner together. It makes sense to me now. But I didn't know what it was. I really didn't. There you go. So we had brunch, didn't we? And uh, that was lovely. Bought a couple of things. Bought a very useful set of uh, sass clamps. That was good. Uh, so there we go. I'm going to carry on. You have a great day. And uh, don't do too much. Take it easy.